welcome to a new vlog today we just got to sibani lodge we're gonna be spending the night here we're going glamping that's what's happening oh look more animals it's like antelope or something there i don't know if you can tell my camera does not zoom in very well but yeah we just drove in we're gonna go check in and see our tent <laughs> So there's no chance of them like slithering into the tent. At the moment in winter time, it's very unlikely. And in summer, do you actually in get it summer, in summer? Yes, it does oh. happen. Oh no. Okay, so we're only gonna come here in winter, right? <laughs> Our tent has this cute little sitting area outside on our little porch. Look at how magnificent our view is. They're gonna plant some little short trees over there because they're adding hot tubs next to every tent, which is cool. But our view goes straight to the animals there by the little dam in front of us. It's pretty cool. We've got a little picnic table over there, which is cool. And then when you walk into the tent, we've got don't mind my suitcase already. We've got this little seating area, which is nice. A couch with two little blankets. They even have a gas heater for us, which is cool. You've got this little luggage tray, which is nice. Here's the bed. It even has a fan up top. We should actually turn that on to get some air circulating. There's a little tea and coffee station, but these units don't have any electricity. So apparently they're gonna bring us like a flask of hot water later or something like that. But we do have enough electricity and like little USB charging ports for our phones, but we don't have plugs where we can plug in like a hairdryer. There's no TV or anything. So we're gonna have to like talk to each other, you know? But yeah, there is like a little tea and coffee station in front of this little dressing table. How cute are these robes? They have little robes for us. There's a full-size mirror over there. This is the bathroom. How sick is this? How do I turn this? Does this light turn on? Oh, there we go. See, the light turns on. We've got a bathroom. There's a little sink area. And then look at this massive shower. And then the toilet is all the way back in there. I'm in such awe of the fact that I'm chilling in a tent. Well, this is a very high-end tent, let's be real. And I'm like a hundred meters away from some wildebeest. That's just so insane to me. Look at this. They're right outside. Right over there. It's so cool. It's a couple hours later. I may or may not have taken an entire nap because there's literally nothing to do here. But we are just getting ready and we're gonna go on a game drive. So that should be fun. Let's see. Apparently there's no other guests staying here tonight because it's a Sunday night, which should actually be really cool, but also a little extra scary. But yeah, so I'm just hoping that there's no snakes that creep in. The guys say the chance is slim, but you never know. As I was closing up. My name is Franz. Hi. Hello. And then I'm gonna start with the giraffe. See the animals we have on the farm? Then most of the animals we have antelopes. Mm -hmm. Then on the big five we have only buffaloes. Okay. We have only ten of them. Okay. Then sometimes we see them, sometimes we don't. Because <laughs> they hide. Yeah. Then we also have giraffes. We oh have, nice. We have two giraffes, a male and a female. Then the female's name is Ella. <laughs> then the male is Kiro. Okay. Uh, Kiro, he likes people. Oh, cute. Yeah. So we might get to touch him. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
I'm touching a giraffe. That's insane. <laughs> touch him. No, I'm not touch him. You don't want to touch him. No. I think it's so cool. Oh, look at your big tongue. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> just got back from our game drive which is actually pretty good this isn't like a massive game reserve where they have like elephants and rhinos and stuff like that they keep calling themselves a farm actually um, we enjoyed the game drive we got to see they have a ton of buffalo springbok the blue wildebeest uh, and I don't know what else but it was like a ton of like you know like the small like deer type of animals and the bigger ones as well but I don't remember all their names there was warthogs and guinea fowl and all that stuff. We met Kiko, one of the giraffe. They have a male and a female giraffe. Apparently the male giraffe loves to just interact with humans. So I'm sure you guys saw that. That was a lot of fun. He literally like walked over a hill and everything to come towards us and he was so cute. Oh, the game drive driver? I don't know if that's what they're called. He showed us a, a jackal and he was telling us that if in the middle of the night if we hear the sound that sounds like a baby crying, it's actually just the jackal. Which I never thought that jackals make that sound. I always kind of just assumed that they bark. Am I the only one? I think that's pretty interesting. It's almost time for dinner and then we're gonna call it a night. But so far, this is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it here. Okay, we're gonna eat dinner over there. This is the main area. Look at this massive coffee table and this cute couch. I want this couch. And then this is just a main area. 
I love this fireplace. It's massive. Look at how big this is. Oh, and look at that tree trunk art. That's cool. We want to see whose bum is better. Stand the same way. <laughs> oh, ink eshi. Look at their decor. It's like a Zulu traditional hat that a bride wears or a married woman wears. So that's super interesting. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell I'm standing next to it. It's a huge fireplace, huh? And then outside the main area, we've got this lovely little boma where we can also sit and hang out. This is very cool. Well, it's actually a big boma. And then you can just hang out here. The sunset is looking good. Oh, and this is our little dinner setup. Okay, so it cost us about one and a half thousand rand for this one night stay, including dinner and breakfast. But I honestly expected dinner to be like a salad or something simple. Turns out it's an entire three course meal. They gave us the creamiest butternut soup. It was delicious. And then roast chicken and vegetables and a brownie and ice cream for dessert. I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. At 8 o'clock that evening, our president was actually addressing us, so we just put that on YouTube and watched he put us down from level 3 lockdown down to level 2, which is great because now there are fewer restrictions. We spent the rest of the evening watching a movie until the laptop battery died. Good morning and happy Monday. Here we are on our way to breakfast. There was a tea and coffee station and so I just made myself a cup of coffee in that main room again. And I'm just obsessed with these African paintings that they have at that station. For breakfast, they gave us eggs with bacon, sausage and baked beans with toast. It honestly was delicious. Here I am trying and failing to get a picture of Keegan and I. I literally had no idea my camera was out of focus the entire time. What a fail. <laughs> Goodness, it's time to go. We've made it to the end of our little getaway. We're getting going. I don't know if I even gave any context this morning, but they were serving breakfast from eight until 10. So we went and we had breakfast and it was delicious. And then after that, we just went back to our room, packed up everything and now we are leaving. This is a place that if I came back to, I would want to come back with at least another couple. I think that would be really nice because then we could all hang out. It would be much more entertaining when we go on like the game drive. We can sit around the boma in the evening after dinner and just have chats and stuff. I think we're done with safari getaways for now um, because it's becoming summer now. So I don't really want to interact with any snakes. Thank you very much. So I think our next trip will definitely not be in the bush. Yeah, Keegan wants to go somewhere urban. I want to go to a beach. We'll see who wins. We're gonna go home now and pick up Benji and just relax. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I know it was short and sweet, but it really was just a night away. Um, I really appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Come check out Sibani glamping tents if you want to. This is completely not sponsored. It was just a getaway we felt like doing at the very last minute and we had a blast. So yeah, I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed my experience here. But continue spreading good vibes and being kind and I'll see you guys all on the next vlog. Bye bye.